Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody's trying to use the copy effect underneath this flyout under object, but nothing's highlighted. Well, if you've contoured something recently, if you see this as a contour, to get this to work, you have to pick on the second shape that you want to contour. Somehow Corel knows if you go to object copy effect and then the contour is highlighted and then just click on them. Then you gotta click on your contour. Let's go back, object, copy effect, contour, and then you pick your contour. Now I could have done this by selecting all three and holding down the shape key or the shift, the shift key, and then go to object, copy effect. Well, maybe you can't, you know what? We'd have to group these together and then go to object, copy effect, contour, and it's gonna ask us what contour we want, we want to use, and you just pick that. Now it's contoured that exact same amount. Now, you realistically don't have to do that. Let's ungroup these and what you can do when you're contouring something. Let's, uh, let's break the, con well, let's ungroup everything, and let's break this contour apart. Go up to object, break the contour apart get rid of that contour. So really you don't have to do all that. <clears throat> if you've got some objects on your page you want to contour, all you have to do is select that item, go up to effects and contour and open your contour window. We're gonna contour the outside in black a half an inch. It's done it. Now all you have to do is just individually select these. The settings will be the same. I'm just selecting and going back to apply. So they're gonna get the entire exact contour that you did on the first one. Nothing's changed. So copy effect on the contour tool is pretty cool, but it's not really necessary. When you're, well, unless you've closed your Docker and you don't, you've contoured, let's, okay, let's contour something else. And we, but we want this at same half inch and we don't really remember, don't want to measure. So click on your item, go to uh, effect, Contour, uh, copy effect, contour, and then pick on your contour, and it's gonna make that identical to your last contour on that item. I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.